Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I pray that your day is blessed, that you walking in God's divine favor and God's divine assignment for your life, that you crying out to him, just giving him honor and giving him glory and giving him praise and just magnify his name because he are a good God. He is a good father and we must see God as father, a good father. And I know a lot of us was raised without a father. So we think that God is mad at us when we make a mistake. God is not mad at you because you make a mistake. You are in the process. And if you do make a mistake, ask for forgiveness. Get up and try it again and be who he called you to be. A good father wants you to win. A good father wants you to win, fam. He don't want you to fail. He don't want you to hurt yourself. He don't want you to talk negative against yourself. Pray what he pray concerning you. Pray your covenant right as a born again believer. You are blessed. You are blessed. No matter what, you are blessed. You are highly favored. And you must tell yourself that every single day because the enemy is telling you something different in your mind because we are all fighting private battles that no one knows about, that we don't tell no one. But we should be open to tell our mentors, our husbands, our wives, especially God. He loves you. He's a good father. He's a good father. And he's with you. He's for you. And so am I. That's why I come on here to add value to you, to help you, to pray for you, to show you how to pray and speak God's word, and to uplift you and motivate you and to encourage you that your day going to be great. You can't have no great day if you don't say it. I wake up every day. My day is blessed. My day is favored. My day is anointed. My day is prosperous, full of God's love, God's joy, God's peace. God love me. God love me. God love me. And he love you as well. He love you as well. And you have to tell you that. And you can't let circumstances, situations, people, and negative things stop you from saying that and believing that. God love you. I got a couple of, a, a few scriptures I want to read to you guys today. Well, actually one concerning words. You come from James 3, 2 and 6. Words are seeds that start the processes of life. Words are seeds that start the processes of life. I'm going to say that one more time. Words that you and I speak. Words are seeds that start the processes of of life. That means when you get up and you pray God's word every single day over your life, more and more and more and more, you will look up two or three years from now, you will be a totally changed, different person. It's a process. Life is a process. Life is a journey. Get up every day, consistently speaking God's word over your life, over your circumstances, what he say about you, speaking his word, meditating on his word, crying out to him, praying his word, singing his word, speaking his word. Meditating on his word every single day of your life. Now, we finna pray right now. And I just want to put my Bible down. We finna pray right now. But first and foremost, we must know and believe that God's word have the power to change any circumstance and any situation that you and I face. face. The just shall live by faith. And we speak his word by faith, believing that it will and it shall come to pass. It will come to pass. You must know that. You must believe that. You can't be loose with words. Words will kill you. Just like words can bless you, words can kill you if you're saying the wrong thing. Remember that quote that Pop always said? And I, and I grew up listening to Pop when I was in the world. When he said he know he seen death around the corner, well, eventually he seen it. He spoke it with all due respect to everyone, to every Tupac fan and lover. I don't hate or criticize anyone. I'm just giving you a practical acknowledge, a, a practical example. Speak life, not negative. Speak life, life. For life and death is in the power of the tongue. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. So speak the word. If you're the rapper, a recording rap artist, or a recording singer, speak God's word. Don't go out there and say a bunch of negative things about killing people and hurting people and wounding people. I'm gangster, I'm thug to, to sell records, to make money. 
No, you killing yourself and those that are listening to you. You destroying the generation. You, you must bless the generation with your word. Say that you are blessed, young man. You are blessed, young daughter. You not a, a, a B-I-H-O. You the queen. You the great mother to somebody one day. You gonna be a great father to someone one day. You gonna lead the world through your words, through your speech, through your music, through your uh, uh your drama plays, through your business. You are a world changer. You are a world changer. Stand the bears, trailblazer, men and women of excellence, God's lovers, Godfathers, in the faith. In the faith that love people, that add value to people, that serve people, that add value to people, that serve people and be there for people and help them in any area of life. That's all what ministry is, meeting the needs of people. No matter whatever need they may be, they need money. We the body of Christ, we got that. You need salvation? Let's lead you to Jesus. You need healing in your body? That pray the prayer of faith that your God will heal your body immediately. That's believe, believe it by faith. Call those things that be not as though they were. You have to say it by faith, believing that God is who he say he is. You must believe that. You must believe in God's anointed word. Not only that you must, only must believe in God's word, you must believe in you. Let me say this and then we're going to start praying. It's amazing that you believe that God is, is, is almighty and all powerful. He can do anything, right? He's amazing. But if you don't believe that you can do it, and if you're not amazing, it won't be done. It's one thing to believe God, but it's a whole other ball game to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself just like you believe in God. You have to be strong. It takes courage to win. It takes courage to pray God's word. It takes courage to step out in faith and do what God called you to do. It takes courage to be brilliant, to be dominant, to ride with above all obstacles and all dilemmas and all setback and naysayers and what they stand and what they stand. It takes courage to be who God called you to be. It's not going to be easy, but prayer can help you get over those stepping stones, get over those potholes and those barriers. And all the different mistakes that people make in the world, it's a proud failure. Everything rises and falls on leadership. Everything. To be a great leader, you got to get up and, and, and follow the, the true leader. That's God. The Bible is the roadmap of success for our life. The Bible is not a bunch of rules and, 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 and all this. The Bible is a roadmap for success in life, for you to be successful. God wants you to succeed in every area of your life. He wants you to win. He wants you to win. The Bible is a roadmap to success for his divine will and call and plan for your life. Let's begin to pray. And we're going to bind the devil in the mighty name of Jesus because you're going to be blessed today. Your day is going to be blessed. Your day is going to be amazing. Your day is going to be outstanding. And I declare and decree over you right now that you are blessed. There's nothing mundane, nothing mediocre, nothing average are coming, are coming about you. You're not a failure. You are a winner. You are a champion. And you will be a trophy to the world. Because when God get finished with you, everyone going to be amazed and mind blown. And I want you to win. I want everybody to win. Everybody to win. Because you're a winner. You are made in God's image and made in God's likeness. Dominating the curse. A to Z. Thank you, Father God, that I am the redeemer of the Lord. And through your covenant blood sacrifice, resurrection power of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I am forever free from the curse and all the manifestations of the curse. I dominate the curse and I command that every curse is broken off of my life, broken off of my family, broken off of my children. I resist the devil and he must flee from me. I have put off the old man. And the lust of the flesh. I have overcome the trials and the tribulation of this world by my faith. I am redeemed it and forever free from. I am forever redeemed it and forever free from anger, from anger, from anxieties, from worries, fear, doubt, unbelief, being beneath um, the Babylonian world and influence from bitterness, corruption, envy, jealousies. Cares of the world, confusion, crime, death, disease, disfavor, devouring harvest, doubt, disorganization, distress, disease, hallelujah, 
influence of every evil spirit, failures, being forsaken, a forward mouth and perverse lips, uh, uh, fraud, false doctrine, fraud, greed, hate, hurt, harm, danger, accidents, inheritance being stolen, neglect, unstable, injustice, impatient, theft, undeserved. I come against every vex, every hex, every spell, every jinx, every black magic, white magic, bewitchment, sorcery, new age, order. I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. God's people is blessed on today. God's people is blessed on today and forever be blessed. Our bloodline is blessed. Our bodies is blessed. Our minds is blessed. Our businesses is blessed. Our churches are blessed. Hallelujah. Our investments is blessed. We are blessed coming out. Blessed going in. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. We are favored with God and with man. Every single day of our life. We live in fullness and abundance of God's blessing. Believe it. Receive it. Diagnose it. Receive it, diagnose it, eternalize it, receive it, eternalize it, embrace it. You are blessed, my brother and my sister. I said you are blessed. And the devil cannot curse what God has blessed. Have a great, amazing day.